31st of July, six day of body weight workout. We will be starting with two mobility exercises, one of them bird and dog, and second one is a dead bug. They are a bit of funny name. Anyway, that won't be with a time. We will repeat in 10 repetition. And after that, we will go into our core and up exercises. And again, we will repeat in every single exercise with 30 second intensity with a 30 second resting time. And then we'll try to repeat on at least two set. If the time allow us, then we will go for a third set. Are you ready? Okay, first one is a bird and dog. You are on your fall. The basic of what you need to do, you need to lift your arms and legs and bring it down. So, I would like you to do 10 repetition. Be ready. One, two, well done, three, four, Five extended, six, seven, well done, eight, nine, and ten. It's good. Nice and stable in here, guys. So to make sure you extend your arms and legs as far as you can. But while you're doing this, Please do not throw your lower back. So nice and stable there, okay? So ready, steady, and go. Here we go. One, two, three, never forget breath in and out. Four, five, six, it's good. Seven, eight, just to make sure I'm in screen. Nine, ten. Cool. So second one is a dead bug. Dead bug pretty much exactly the same exercise, which is on the reverse position. So on your back, nice and tuck in on the lower back. Lift your legs up. Then make sure you see your toes. Arm is higher there. And right arm and left legs is goes away, which means a bit more cognitive thrill this and bring it down. So one, two, just really tucked in. Don't let your lower back arching. Three, four, that's good, five. See if there is a trick, if your arms is moving forward and backwards. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's very good. So to make sure you're stable, shoulders blade back and the other side. One, two, three, four, they are great for, you know, for straining your back and abdominal and then increasing the range of movement on the hip and shoulders. Two more guys, okay, well done, and one more time. That's amazing. So, from there, I mean, you could do one more set to make sure everything's get really nice, mobile and warm. But if you're ready, we're just gonna start with our abdominal plank, which is, this is your plank position, okay? And then first position, 30 second, you might hold there. If you feel good, and then you might start going up and down, or you can start going up and down and one more option we're going to do today one down and tuck in so you're going to go one up tuck in exercise here we go so up down tuck in up 
down, tuck in. Bring in your knees as far as you can. If this is too hard for you, just back to your plank position. That's good. Rest. Well done. So that's really done well. So the next exercise will be leg hold position. Straight, which means you lying down on your back. Head is up, you look at your toes, nice and straight in here, and then putting your head behind you, and then lifting your legs and holding there. If, if that hurts your back, you might try to do just single leg. Okay, here we go. Hold them there, look at your toes, do not pull your neck forward, you rest your head and neck on your hand, which is pretty hard. You know, sometimes really raise your buttocks and then hold your tummy in and then it's a challenging exercise. Be waiting in this position. Rest. Awesome. So the second exercise done. So the third exercise with the mountain climbers in here and you basically running in here and that will be as hard as you can but think about always the safety first okay here we go we'll push a bit more harder so 30 second mountain climb is pretty tough you can do slower if you wish to just you know this is the by the way, exercise, if your fitness is level is good, you can push harder. Or you can just kind of take it easier. Woo! Yes. That's really good. So, we are doing a star jumps. Your star jumps, basically, you go up and down, okay? Or you can go down and up. So, two different exercises. Just normal side jumps is really focused on the still mobility and your cardio, but in the second one, bending your knees and going down, it really, really focused on your legs and glute muscles. Okay. Either one, of them will be amazing. You can mix it up, nothing wrong with it. If you want to really burn those legs, this is the one to go. That's great. We are on your back again. An air bike or crisscross, which is, you're doing this one, it's really amazing one. So here we go. Get ready. One legs forward. Listen. Exercise. Here we go. 30 second. Legs as straight possible. If that's too hard, you might go a bit of here, or you can put your neck down. That's totally fine. But you know, if you come that far, I'm sure you're able to manage this. Woo! Yes. That's great, okay. Now we're gonna do the, some butt kicks. So the working or glutes, you will be on the floor, and then you will be in this position. You can do the single leg, but we got the 30 second. You're just gonna do it alternate side, okay? So get you on your four. Get ready. Knee off the ground. And check. Check. So you're not extending and you're just pushing yourself up, kick in here. Tie your glutes. Arms will be a bit tired, 
but all good. You're doing amazing. 10 seconds to go. All right, five. Rest. Woo. Okay. Then now we got a side kick, which is on the side plank position. Okay, this is pretty tough. If you're not ready, just stay on the side plank or you might do in here, okay? So kind of like an intermediate beginner level, but when you start from there, and then you push in here to kick up. So, never push with your shoulders, guys. Well done. So that, that will be a killer. Balance and strength and everything is in here. 10 seconds to go. Rest. Good. So have a rest, breath in and out. We're gonna do the other side. Inhale and exhale. Get your positioning, whatever you think is best to do it. You don't want to hurt your shoulders or anywhere else, uh, but think the idea of slightly pushing yourself. Exercise. You can always put your you know, hand on the ground for the balance, or you're looking for a real challenge, then here we go. Well done. Here we go, like, you know, it, it happened, it's normal. Ah. Yes. Woo. Okay, so we got jump squat. So your squat and jump squat, you will be in here, you're pushing up, or you just can't do just a squatting, okay? Because we don't like a whole butt kicks and side kick, those areas work really, really well. And that will be killer and also the compound exercise. Exercise. Here we go. You don't need to go crazy because 30 seconds, you know, just explosive power upright is good. Ah, woo. All right, that amazing. Okay, now we'll go back to plank position. You are doing really, really good. Now we're gonna really kill this. And what are we gonna get? Most of the benefit, most of the calories out, and then pushing your strength. And that's just strength, it's not like it physically as well as mentally. That's why the challenge is. Okay, get plank position. Exercise. Okay. Ten second. Have you resting really, really well? Make sure you know you're really maintaining your good food, good meals, drinking plenty of water, and sleeping early if possible. Having a good cold shower if you can will make the recovery really, really fast. Okay, legs hold, holding the legs, looking and then lifting the legs. Here you go. Look at your toes. Just really tightening in here. Went off the really, really effective, uh, effect, effective exercise. Oh. 
Relax your shoulders. Rest. Awesome. Uh, the, we got the crisscross. So doing a more abdominal work. But this is probably the day three. We started taking those exercises and main exercise because everyone have to apply, everyone able to apply and then make it like you're really pushy, really pushing it. Exercise. Sharing those videos you know, commenting, commenting, and sharing with others, liking, it will be really helpful to reach more people. Whoa. Woo. Fine. How are we feeling so far? I mean, I feel pretty worn out now, worn out now, but you know, we have a few the exercise to finish it off, guys. So don't give up, don't give up. So the mountain climbers is next. So breath in and out. Exercise. Here we go. Your neck and back is straight line. You're not raising your body higher. Well done. Yes. Awesome. Good one. All right, we got the butt kick and then two more exercises, side kick and squat jumps and then we complete it. So let's do those and then six days completed guys. You are on your fall, knee off the ground, and then kick. If you start feeling having some pain on the wrist, you can just turn the wrist out, the fingers out there. Uh, or you can put your knees down and then just do it normal. Totally fine. It's good. No rush with that. Yes. Perfect. Cool. Side kick. Again, the side kick we can always do in here. Okay, and then heavy duty, which is the advanced one, going in here, or kicking. The shoulders need the rest. Exercise. So here, up. The balance. You don't need to raise too high, but really push. Definitely, this is not a more stable side. Oh, push it. But over the days, we're gonna see it will get you know stronger and stronger if you carry on doing this daily basis. All right, so. We got kind of, I think, 24 days left or 25. We're just gonna do exactly 30 days, guys. This uh, yesterday, we, you know, or Sunday, we didn't train, give it a rest. But in week time, until Saturday, we'll carry on. Exercise.
and just start feeling the off side of my glute and I see about good. Oh, oh God. All right, last exercise. We got the squat jumps. You give everything what you got now. It's done. Six days almost completed. Big breath in and out. Big breath in and out. All right, get ready. Exercise. Use your arms, use your triceps. Hold on. Here we go. Hip is always inching back, land with the toes, and then heel. Well done. Workout cost. So, good stretching in here now. And you can hold somewhere, the chair, table, kitchen, you know, anywhere you kind of like it. Find it really for your balance or for your partner. A good stretches bit. Okay. So stretch is always the, um, make your recovery a lot faster. And then clear down those, uh, you know, waste product, which is to cool your body uh, gradually. It's good. If you lie down with your back, stretch your hip, your glutes, pull, shoulders back, way to normally. 33 seconds is always good in here. Just inhale and exhale. It's good. We do that on the side, crossover, pull, and back. Never forget, shoulders always back, head is rested. If you don't have that flexibility or mobility, you can always get a pillows under your neck. It should be fine. That nice. We're just kind of gonna go against the wall, get the uh, calf stretching in here, okay? Push it, arm straight, back straight, push the heels down. That's really good. Other side. Perfect. Open your legs as wide as you can, and then try to go forward in here, a little bit like you're rocking forward and backwards. That's really well. And then we stretch on the side, pulling your arms here, grabbing, and just on your side, rest your head. That's good. And then in here, and then pulling other side. So holding the arms there, the back. So kind of both arm helping and assisting each other. Pack this up, the shoulders blade nice and tight in here. Good, getting your neck left to right, forward and backward. A look inside the side, give it a nice big rotation, other way around, a little bit shaking yourself. And here we go, sixth day and um, 31st of the July completed. And I hope to see you tomorrow and keep it up with us. Well done, you are doing a great job. Thank you, bye now.